Hi. Let's try to replicate a bit of Microtopia. And basically, it's a game where you have ants and you need to direct them to jobs. And for that, you have to create trails. And for now, you have the logistic uh, trail and you have the foraging trails. That's the two kind of trail you have. And that dictates which, which action the ants will do on the path. And also you have the queen and the queen will output the uh, um, ants at regular interval if you feed it. So we will just do the base uh, mechanism of feeding the queen, outputting the babies, the eggs, and then uh, one machine or something like that. So very, very limited, like it would just be like the demo, no more because yeah, that's not the goal to make the full game. So let's try to do that. And I will use Godot because it's easy to use uh, and it's fast. So yeah, easy and fast is always good. So let's... Uh, 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 let's uh, micro ants to not uh, take the same name. And... Uh, yeah, maybe that's, yeah, maybe, yeah. So, okay, forward, yeah, that looks uh, fine. Okay, so we will not do in 3D, like uh, the game is uh, done, we will do 2D, because we are aiming for simplicity here, but yeah, the mechanic will be there. Also, we won't do the sprites, so we will use the icon uh, everywhere. So that makes stuff very easy. So the first thing I would do is create the queen. So let's uh, say that is a queen. And uh, the queen can be just a sprite. And uh, yeah, the sprite will be the texture. Because it's the queen, uh, I will give like a rectangular shape like this and that's my queen and uh, yeah for the queens we need two places we need one place to feed it and one place uh, to put the eggs so for that I will add a child node and uh, I would create an area and uh, yeah Okay, and that area we will add a child node. No, no, we don't add a child node. We will add uh, like um, a shape, yeah, so a collision shape, for example. And that, yeah, not bad. Ah, so that's uh, okay. The screen is disconnecting for some reason. Okay, so now. We have this collision shape and we will do a square, a rectangle. Yeah. And this we can move over like here. And then we can resize. And let's say this is the rear. And now we need a new area to D. With uh, the own uh, collision shape. And that will be the front. I can probably already set a Maybe not that much, but okay. And then let's move it uh, there. And that's uh, is it. But uh, now that I see the thing, I'm thinking that yeah, this is not put uh, like I don't see the front and the back. But uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, an issue we have to deal with. So what could I do? Yeah, maybe I could put uh, another icon. 
but it would be not like this and that would be the head of the queen yeah. okay so now we have the we know which is which and that's enough and and that's the queen so the queen need to be fed something and uh, and yeah, she need to be fed and produce something so we need something to collect the the food from and also uh, the ability to deposit so i will just call this food and it will be an icon but there we will need to make it smaller and uh, modulate in yellow that's because in the game the food is yellow so I'm just telling the color code there yeah good yellow and I think it's enough to see that it's this now we need to have some collision so for that I will add an area and I there I don't discriminate between which is uh, the parent or the child I don't need for what I'm uh, doing okay so there uh, we'd say like a circle or maybe no yeah let's go for a circle easy check so and that would be the food food source to be more ac accurate okay Oop. and then we need the food itself but uh yeah let's see how we could do that um uh, yeah maybe the same the same that would be the same okay so i will create a new node but this one i don't need a uh, 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 Do I model uh, this as a collision or not? Yeah, okay, then the ants will not have the collision. Okay, so I will add the uh, area. I will add the collision. And we need to put the icon. There I would also say that it's somewhere in the yellow but we need to make it much smaller and uh, we need to put the, yeah, the collision shape itself and the circle will do just fine okay so that's the basic and that would be food so now we have the queen the food source the food so we need the ants but uh, that would be uh, last living uh, long living ants and for that what i will do uh, i will do just the ant and then i will do an extension of the ant that can die so by default the ant doesn't die uh, yeah. and that way i can test a bit and yeah for that i will switch uh, things a bit around but that's okay so let's say that it's an ant we add a collision shape yeah, i don't know yet how uh, the collision shape uh, will look so up. let's put the icon because it's an ant then we need like a smaller body and we need a head so i will just duplicate and that way we have the ant with the head not sure of the size i didn't uh, 
to scale into account but okay let's see and the uh, shape will be a new rectangle uh, no can I still go with the circle but I would have to move this uh, circle to the right uh, just for the look so we won't see the circle in game but I like to see it when I'm working with it okay uh, yeah okay control s yeah. and then we save so yeah that's the visible stuff and now we have the trail and we need to have the ant follow the trail if it's near the trail so that's the most complicated part i think so let's do that and uh, i would simplify by making only one kind of trail i think it's good enough so in godot we can actually use a path and, uh, and and interpolate according to that path so what i will need is to set path on the field and edit it so there i have to think but <coughs> that's okay ah uh, trail that doesn't have that feature uh, yet so we have path and path follow but the issue with path follow is that it has to be the child of the path and uh, that way it's tied to the path and that may be too much so but 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 let's see because if i put that on the path no don't so i can't okay that's what i wanted uh, to experiment so now the path i will have to kind of uh, memorize them in the level so i will create a level and i will discard that and it will just be a node 2d and that would be the level and in my level i would like to test just an ant so let's uh, put one of our ants voilà. and then I need some pads here but uh, I, I don't have uh, the pad stuff so we will need some code yeah. so that's the basic and uh, for that uh, I will handle the mouse click and I will build a pad I do not remember how do we finish. I think to finish a trail is right click. And here in this game, we will have only one option is making the trails. And that there will not be anything else like maybe delete a trail if you right click again on it. But so now I'm doing an, uh, a variable that, that would say that it's an array. Yeah, yeah, that so that is an array of um, path, and I need path two D, which is nice, and that's it, and I would create an empty array, and so in Godot you can also use type uh, that makes it faster, and it's in less initialized, and now this i will use for uh, nothing okay I, uh, mm, yeah, maybe yeah, i will use this i'm not sure i don't think i need it's for initialization but i think i only need this <coughs> and then i need to process input and for that we have the yeah it's not process we have magic method input and this one will allow me to do a bench of if so i can choose and i'll take button and now i can drop down and say if event dot is pressed so if if uh, the button is pressed because we are in a event now i may try i'm not sure if it will work 
but I could do a match event dot and can I yeah but then I okay it will work I think uh yeah it will work if I remember how a match is done but I think it's that way and then and then you put uh, child stuff uh, like this then the pass is to do nothing because uh, yeah no yeah okay that's good uh, mouse button uh, right okay so that's the basic of handling the inputs and what i want to do is uh, if you click and you are not creating a path then you should uh, be able to create a new path and for that i realized that i need a current path yeah i'm using a um, snake case because it looks like python and in python it's how you do so otherwise i use camel case uh, array and it would be a path 2d except that it will start as null because yeah that means nothing is there and that allow me to know what to do here so here i would say so if the button uh, index is pressed and is left then i can say okay i will create a new thing new path so current path equal path to the dot new now i have to check because sometimes it's not sometimes it's not it's a node so i need to take the say so i should not do uh i should not do uh, boom, boom, boom. ah but uh no because it has just a set curve so it, do, it doesn't interest me i want to just use this one so i will just use the one over there so it would be curved 2d up oh, yeah it's not prepared it's just like i will do that and then i do and so this hiccups okay so the curve the d and this goes there and uh Ah yeah, but that's, I'm missing something. Yeah. So if current path, that's a shorthand to say if it's uh, not null. I, and I, I like that because yeah, why why you would have to type equal equal uh, not null when uh, yeah it's obvious what you want to do. Huh? I mean, uh, so that's a simple feature, but uh, yeah, it works behind the scene uh, the, the compiler probably translate that uh, as if not null so okay there we have the new curve and then uh, and then yeah and then we just do nothing okay we add this curve to the array of trails ah yeah that's all we add it like that no push back and that would be push back the current path and uh, I always want to put a else there, I don't know why. So now we know we will work on that path. And what we will do is current path dot add a point here. And the point is we will do everything in global position because it's easier. And uh, yeah, so that means that uh, I think even that the event is uh, like, oh no, there's uh, the other one, but we will take this. I have to check. Mm -hmm. No, that's not control P. Mm. Yeah, it's a position vector two. So, and then you have uh, the the uh, handles. I will keep uh, paths very straight. So that's it. We are just adding a point, and then I will need to bake the path. So there, a uh, big interval uh, testing. I think the default by default would be like uh, good. Ah, okay, so uh, I think I just need to do sample back and then it will be. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how it works. Uh, 
uh, bla bla bla, return, return, uh, 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 to do that, it means uh, cubic, but linear, it is faster. Uh, we can choose. Uh, okay, but. Uh, Ah, there is a tessellate. I saw a tessellate. No. It keeps a cache, so I think. I think it's okay, it will uh, do stuff uh, by itself, so that's good, so we don't need that. We, fine, we don't need to tell him how to do anything. So I will just add the points. But now what I need also is to uh, render the scene. And for that I will implement the draw method, and this method is called each time you ask for a draw. So there obviously we change the path so i would say query draw and now i can do whatever i want and let's be very stupid there we would say for each trail then draw it the trail is not uh, very okay then uh, we draw it and to draw it we need to connect uh, the point but i think that we can do draw polyline so that's good and there normally I can ask for the for the trail ah, yeah. so I can ask uh, to have the the points so I hmm. But the thing is, because now I have like very simple, um, yeah, I have very simple uh, points. So can I have, I have just uh, now because tessellate, it will do ah, but max stages, I could say one for example. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. So what does it return? So a uh, tessel, so it looks good. And then uh, yeah, so that's, that's too much. Huh? So that's uh, yeah. Let's say uh, one. And there, <coughs> the color will be white. White? Yeah, white. And can I put a width? Yeah, the width will be 4, just to see. And let's anti alias it. So that would draw the stuff. And when we do uh, right things, we just have to say uh, current path equal null. That means we are done. And next left click will allow us to create a new path. Okay, that looks uh, that looks good. So now we have to test it and see it crash because yeah, that's how it works. Voila. So that was uh, nice. So wh why? Uh, ah yeah, yeah, that's now. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> so there we need a uh, not obviously. So if if it's not null, then we do the thing. Okay, so I will click. It's only one point, so not interesting. Two point, three point. Okay, so now we can do a uh, path. Yeah. And. Um, <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's l let it uh, like that. We can't move our patterns when they are set, they are set. And we will make the ant very simple, very stupid, but yeah, that's how it is.
for that we need uh let's see yeah there is two ways to do that but yeah we can ask godot to do some stuff for us so let's do that so we can use what they call groups and uh, so why not and now because i have i can't ask the i can't tell the ant you need to follow that path or i can have the level that says okay i know about everything but then yeah so if the ant follow the path then the ants need to sample the path and uh, yeah, yeah I, would, I would say like that so i would do a mix of the two what i would say is follow follow path for example and uh, and then i need a curved 2d Uh, uh, yeah, let's call it path and that would be a curve 2d and then uh, i need the uh, but i'm yeah i'm not in the right uh, place <coughs> so i need to open the ant and create the script that will be the base script there i would need at least this one that is done every frame like it says so we have this follow path and i will just say run path and that's a variable which is of type curve 2d and uh, that is initially null but that's by default and when that's the case that would be like that and then we need uh, like uh, an offset Okay, that would work and the offset will say it's a float a float is a number uh, with decimals and that would be 0 to 0 by default but but so that's more complicated than that because there we need to uh, when we say follow the path there is two things it's in uh, which direction and also from where so that's what we have to take into account so now we need to get closest of ah so we have everything we need we need uh, we have this and we have this so yeah that and then i don't need to to compute anything uh, and i would say global position because i said i will work in uh any uh alle, in uh in global uh, coordinates so that's nice and then what was the other one get closest point no? yeah but uh, yeah the fact is I don't need to do that but okay so that snap the that snap the yeah the ants to the path and uh, that's actually stupid so i will just do this and what it does is just set a curve with an initial offset and the process will be move along the path so for that we say offset equal offset plus and that's where it's a bit uh, touchy so I, yeah no offset yeah that's not good uh can i do yeah i can have the full length for example and then i can multiply and then uh, find out how long yeah so i can have a speed per per uh, yeah okay because <coughs> if i work with offset and i have a very long path the ant would be very fast 
And if I have a teeny, teeny, teeny path, the, the ants will be very slow if they work based on an uh, offset. So I, I need to do a path.sample current path dot sample and there we have sample and sample float and sample backed and uh, the only one is correct so what I want is uh, maybe there was a get point or ah uh, maybe uh, let's see get point no so we have the things I have, but that's not the good curve. Uh, it's not. So there we have this method. So what I want is obviously this one. And there we have the baked points. Which is probably better than the... Okay, let's, yeah, that's good, uh, like we have now. But okay. And now we need to sample, and then we have the index on the float, but I don't want that. There we have the the sample uh, na -na. and that means that I need to do the the code to do uh, yeah. Just rechecking because I, I was under the impression that uh, Ah voila, because yeah, that, that one, so there are basically two kind of offset and this one is uh, the one where it's a distance and that's what I want uh, and the other uh, was, where was it? Uh, so, uh, and, and if I take that one, this offset to be sample backed. Yeah, so that's, the, they, they are good to be used, but uh, what is the, yeah, there is the sample and sample F. And this one is from zero. Okay, so this one is uh, not uh, very useful. Ah, that's what's okay. So th there is no zero to one, I thought there was. So now what I need to do is offset plus, and then we need to tell the speed per second. So I would say like 32 pix pixels times and uh, delta and delta is uh, the length of the frame so it's if the computer is slower i find the time between two frames if if the computer is too slow delta will be bigger so the ant will move faster and if the computer is very fast and can do a lot of frame then delta will be very small and yeah which means that yeah we will move slower but more time so in the end it will be the same uh, amount of movement okay so this 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 and i need to check uh, so if the current path is set uh, i think it's good enough and when the offset is uh ah, because i will do loop I will do loop and can we do say like can we do something about the loop uh, no there is nothing about the loop but that's okay so there i would just say that when you are at the end of the path then ah uh yeah because yeah 
in the game you need to close the loop so we'll do the same rule we need to, to close the loop so um, which means that current path is dot uh, length so if offset is greater than then we can do uh, we can remove blast or we can do offset equal f mod offset so what we will do uh, I'm not sure if there is not even a, a warp method yeah that's a uh, but I don't know if the yeah because yeah this min max and this yeah it's like yeah, okay let's let's keep the classical math one so this one is just the remainder of this by that so until we are uh, if we are smaller then the yeah, offset is is on remainder and when we will go past the length it will just take the remainder and put it back in offset which basically mean we will go back to the start of the path plus how many st step we should have done so that's just looping okay so now we need that uh, the ant is put on a track and for that we need to say um, like uh, yeah, could I check each time? Th yeah, that would be a lot of check. Huh? So if the ant is on a track, we don't do anything. But if you move a track, then yeah, so that's the a, a small issue I'm having because now the ants can be on many tracks. So let's say, let's do stupid first. There we need to check all ants. Oh yeah, and for that, I need to take my ant and put it in a group, and it will be a global group. Oop. Okay, and I do that because now I can spawn ants here, and I can ask the same get tree that get node in group ants and now I have all the ants so for an ant in the group ants and they are very for ant in I know not So for uh, all the ants, I need to take all the paths So that's very bad, uh, very very bad Because there wha what I'm tra trying to do is match an ant to a path And uh, I will cheat a bit, I will say if ant uh, dot current path or, uh, yeah, can I put a continue there? yeah I can put a continue so I will just say this uh, so that means if there is already a current path assigned to the end then I skip it that makes a bit less work and for that while one I say okay for each trail I will get the closest point and so that means that I need here to say var closest spots equal uh, null because I am not interested to uh, put a default And also, I will need uh, like var closest distance equal 
and that's where I will do a uh, weird stuff but that's how the things goes I will say trail zero dot and uh, now I need to the get closest point dot distance square two and uh, to what but to the ants dot global position ah. let's specify that it's a node 2d at least no 2d is the parent of everything in uh, 2d uh, and dot uh, global position it never hurts to put types and uh, yeah okay but what is uh ah, yeah. so I need uh, this and that's so something that would be something normal that probably yeah no look but that was not that one so in a curve the day maybe we can have distance to path No. Well, okay. I'm just checking, but seems that's not so. so <coughs> okay, because that seems something uh, you would do by uh, by most default. Get closest point. So I get the closest point on the path, and then I take the distance square to the global position of the end. So that gives the distance between the two points. And uh <coughs> now I say so. I said that I would put to null, but uh, yeah, I will. Uh, okay, I will change the another. So, um, boom, 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 trails. So this one, that's the default, and then it uh, it matches that distance, and uh, also here I don't need to do all of this if I don't uh, have uh, if not trail uh, is empty yeah so I do this thing only if there is at least one and that means I don't have to do any check there so that's a win so now if the yeah so now I need to say if this So I will just say new distance the trail and I will copy this because I'm lazy. Okay, so if that trail so that means everything without the S new distance to ant. So if the new distance is smaller And then the new distance will receive the closest uh, distance and the closest path will receive the current uh, the, the path uh, where and let's, let's uh, put types there so now that would uh, pick the path that is the closest to the end so when we are here the there is a, a path. Ah, yeah, but now I realize uh, something uh, yeah, like hyper stupid. If if the path is too far away, I don't want uh, this. So it's possible that we get uh, null. So this is um, yeah, this is incorrect. Well, incorrect. Let's put null, and there we say first if closest distance is is squared so uh, let's say uh, yeah 64 pixel is, is bigger 32 ah, yeah, but it's 32 times 32 then uh, we don't take so i will keep only if it's lower just like that so now 
Okay, we on the alert. There is this thing. If I do Control E, no Control Shift E. Yeah. If you do Control Shift E, it does evaluate the expression. Like it's, it's nice. If you do P, and then you con Control Shift E, and it evaluates it. Okay, so that's uh, closest distance. No, no, no. Less than. Then take it into account. Is it correct? To me, it looks uh, look correct because this is only set uh, there, uh, and and then uh, yeah, and then if if there is at least one, then we need to repeat that book that uh, book that loop, and that would be the same if closest distance is. But yeah, if I yeah okay, I need to do that only once because the other one they would be all uh, below uh, this because if I font one no that was uh, stupid uh, yeah so yeah so I know I know that was stupid I need to do it unfortunately but that's just a small comparison so that's uh, okay so we only take into consideration the path where the distance is like there uh, new distance so only the path that are close enough and closest than the closest distance so this if is in fact uh, bad I will really be able to uh, so let's see if it's not uh, bad so I would assume this is the smallest distance and then I can only replace it if it's smaller than this. Yeah, so and uh, yeah, and that means that by default this would be null, and it ca it can be something only if if it didn't enter in this if. So that looks good. So if uh, closest path. So if we found a path, then the end will have to follow. Yeah, I saw the follow path. Uh, ah yeah, because it doesn't know that it's an ant. So we can uh, make it, it a bit better uh, for that. We'll go to the ant and I will say that it has a class name. And that would be ant. So now it knows. Ah yeah, maybe it's not at the right place. Oop. So now it knows and yeah, and it, now it knows. So that means that there I can't say ant, and that means that there I can say closest ant. Uh, I can say ant, the small one, follow path, closest path. Why does it say any when it knows that it's a curve to the Okay, so now each step they would uh, be uh, they would check and see if they have to follow a path. So let's see. Uh, so I have an ant here, and I need to make it uh, follow the path. Okay, let's uh, just launch it. Boop. Yeah, that's uh, stupid. Okay, just tap small tab. Okay, so if I do a path here, it does nothing. If I do a path here, it does nothing. Uh, not nice. So that means that the check I'm doing ah because it's a queen the the thing I put the ah, no, it's so ant so why it would not take it pat current pat to call pat so let's put some debug print. Following paths, path, 
and then uh, so this with <coughs> ah yeah but that's uh so there it's nice to sample something but i think it's better if you put uh, the object on the position you sampled so just like this i think it's just just a bit better so now let's try Up. so if i do a path that let's do the easy case voila that was the easy case uh, why is not following i have three errors ah yeah okay but that's because uh I need, yeah, I need to be smarter there. So if uh, and uh, I think I will replace that by get points. I think it's better to do that, and also. use the variable I think it costs nothing to call it uh, but yeah so to do a polyline you need two points and that's what the error said there so it's it better to not have this error because it just makes stuff slower so it allows it, but uh, yeah. there is a hidden cost. Okay, so now why doesn't it follow? It should follow, so I need to put, ah, but the follow, uh, there was no follow. So this is incorrect. Uh, do I push as it should? Yes. Yeah, because it draws. So that's a not good question. So and if and ground path continue, that's good. Uh, is this because no? Because that was not completed. So trace zero blah blah blah. And we just used further closest distance. And uh, yeah, there's, there's already a big uh, thing going here okay so the closest takes the new one but that doesn't change uh, anything let's put a breakpoint here so if i do a path here is too far if i put up ah voila that's better okay but the breakpoint broke the thing so that's okay so now i need also yeah no it should uh, be it's a path with one point that's uh there it's got that uh, to deal with that so it does do the follow but why it doesn't uh so it, it does follow path huh. so maybe maybe i need to yeah but no because if i do only two points I should be able to uh, use that way so let's say one there and one there is it doing something let's put a break point here so it seems that it doesn't do something Okay, so let's see 
Uh, so there, what says the debugger error? Yeah, this one we don't care. So this one is called that there. Is it because I'm using the wrong types or something? Okay, ah, yeah, that uh, that would be indeed always called. So this I would need to say like that. Yeah. So there we see that there is something going on uh, current path. Follow path, path curve body. Uh, following path, follow path. If not trails is empty, so if there is uh, something, Ah, yeah, so, uh, so that's, uh, so I need, okay, okay, so I need to do that or I need to do this because there I would still iterate on it. Yeah, I will do that. That's, uh, yeah. So now I'm going into that. And I'm going into that. So I need to relax the breakpoint yeah that's uh oh, let's kill so now we need to remove that one so we go from there to the ah. yeah okay it's too taxing and it was killed why it was killed no reason. So I think it can't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't like the the path with only one point. So what I need to do is to count the points. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, unfortunate. Maybe I would do, but I don't understand why it would uh, not say anything. Because they are crashing is one thing, but it should say, so if I do that, yeah, it's okay. Because yeah, if I do that, it's stuck here. And it should move across this path, but it's stuck. Okay, this is not uh, correct. This is more like it, but uh, I've set uh, for plus twenty. Okay, so now yeah, that's better. We will get there. So there, I will just put a point here, a point here. Yeah, and now we have this ant that does uh, this magic. And obviously it's not a loop, so it will warp at the beginning of the path. Uh, yeah, it's not very fast. And it's, it jiggle a bit. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay, that's just the graphics. I know it. It's fine. Okay, so that's the thing. Now it does. And let's try the thing that was not working. That is starting here and going here. Yeah. So, yeah, I got a, the, it doesn't like that. So, what we have to do is 
uh, yeah, if uh, so I think this one is the culprit so we need to know how many points there is before doing anything so if current path that get point count uh, uh, that was this if uh, is uh, greater than two than one then we can do all the shenanigan otherwise then uh, otherwise we do nothing uh, let's say that that's better we do nothing so we can only uh, start moving if there is more than one point which would make a new mechanic but okay the thing is that the point should not be yeah that's the thing that's the error that's the error so if you write yeah okay so that's the yeah. so current path path push push at points and then uh, query draw but yeah this should be there this should be done here that way we don't have to deal with uh, stupid stuff and now I could even say if the current path and yeah that's the way to go and the current path that um, um, yeah, uh, point count is greater than uh, one yeah let's because two yeah yeah two points is okay normally it should be three to make a triangle but uh, like I should check is the first and last point uh, on the same uh, Ah, but now we have an issue, kind of, is that I need to draw the current point, so, okay. Not like this, obviously. But uh, the nice thing with that is... Yeah, okay, but I can, uh, I can uh, do the lazy dev. Huh? just need to copy this there and for example because you are editing it i could put it in green yeah not that green the web green and that way <coughs> we even know that we are edi editing it okay that get a uh, big point yeah that way it's better in every way And yeah, the ant doesn't have to check uh, to check anything. Yeah, I think it's it's the way to go. So that's yeah, that's the way to go. That's it's a check that's just taking. Uh okay, let's try this. Uh so basically, I can do this. That was a uh okay. Well, let's try again. So now I do this and I click there, yeah, and I validate. So that's better. That's a bit better. So now uh, what I need also is like when you go to a point, uh, but there is no, okay, okay. Because now we need to, uh, that's, the, that's the point of the distributor. So there we would need to be able to say that this ant should go on another path, but yeah, we for now it's good enough. Okay, let's make the ants 
bit faster because I don't like the speed. Okay, there, there is obviously something wrong in the way uh, I handled the path. But I don't know what it is because the code is very simple. Would it be because this is like uh, changing over time? And that's true that it will not really change. So let's, let's, yeah, yeah, maybe that's the thing. So I would say it has a zero length. And when I do that, I would save the length. So it's not recompute, and now I can say uh, Batman. Okay, let's try. And that wasn't uh, the issue. Okay, is the issue because uh, the tessellation is too low? No, because that's uh, not something I should handle. Clearly it has to do with this, but... No, this is so simple that it can't be that. to do a few refresh here. Why would it jump like that? Is this like uh, the, s the s throttling of a... Uh? No. Is it this process that is too high because it's square, but there's nothing? Yeah, that's uh, tough. So for now, I will have to accept that it does that. Okay, so now we need to add uh, food in our level. So like, uh, yeah, like food. So let's put the food source here. And the food source, yeah, the, it will need to spawn one food. But uh, here, what I will do is I will not spawn. I will just let it like that. And when the ants come, it will get food. So the food, the ant has to know about food. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, uh, no, I will do it that way. Funk at food. pass and that would be uh yeah that that's still nice to have a reference to it food uh is a no 2d and it's null food and i would say which is also a node 2d and if self dot food uh, if not so if if there is no food on the front then uh, I would add the food otherwise I would not uh, so yeah I would say that and there I would say boolean uh, 
and I would say if not if not their fault then add child food and that would uh, I said food that would just move the child from one node to another and then self point food equal food but just tracking uh, the food and that would be return true in the other case return false now the color now the color would be able to say did uh, the ant grab the food or not okay add food and that's it okay so now i have so i have the food uh, and I need the food spawner, but I have the food food source. Yeah, food source. I need food source, and uh, this one needs to know about the ants that enters the area. So what I would say is, uh, yeah, that was not there. So if something enters, so if an area enters. then I would do something yeah okay that's uh and ah no the, the ant uh, yeah okay the, I did the ant properly for that uh, reason so if the area entered that's uh, why uh, for the other nodes I didn't put the area as a parent but for the ant because I would need to access the ant it's better to put it as the area that way when you receive the area you can check if it's an ant okay then on area na, 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 and uh, i'm okay with that then if area is ant i know that's that doesn't work unfortunately so i need to do a preload and for that i can take the tscn no, I can take the ant.gd and control click here. And now I can test uh, if area is ant, then area dot, uh, and uh, that's uh, and that's not that one that should do that. Let's uh ah uh, uh yeah because uh, yeah it could it could okay let's it could it could add food and we need to have some food here so I think I think that I should hmm. Okay, so then I need to spawn the the food. That's all I need. So I need to sp to say like food is a node to D, and it's null. And then I would put a timer. that's uh, involuntary and don't I would put a timer and the timer will time out obviously and uh, on timer time on timer time out yeah. and I would say if food if not food then I would need to spend the, to spend to spawn the food. So for that I would say food. Food that instantiate food that uh, uh, at uh, a child 
the food that we created and then uh, food dot uh, global position equal global position so we just spawn the food where we are and uh, if not funds only uh, only if there is none so that way we can do if area add food food then food equal null so we took the food so there is no more food and uh, so if we took the food we remove and uh, it would be moved yeah i think i'm missing something but i don't see what food food at child no 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 if ah yeah so we need also food to be not null uh, that means that if the food is spawned uh, wh while uh, the the ant is already there it the ant will not pick up the food that's the drawback of this okay let's try not sure if it's because uh, if it's correct but okay ah yeah I yeah, it wasn't correct because the timer is not set to whatever so auto start and uh, let's say every two seconds so now we have the level we have one hand and we have food let's try so uh, no, then uh, i saw the food so i do that and i do that and i do that and i do that and i do that so now I didn't pick it up. But I have five debug uh, stuff. Ah, that's a new new features. That's good because uh, that bad practice. So this has already a. Uh, it has already uh, no, not this one but uh, ah, this one so this one need to be moved three parents and the new parents would be Not uh, that's not uh, there that I need to do that. So add child return true. Uh, so 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 so. Where where do I feed the thing? So food source and the food area add food. Yeah. So this one the add food. It would not be a child, but it would be food that reparent self. Yeah, and and then we say this to we know that the uh, it's not the ant. It's a, it is the ant. Oh yes, it's ant. So now we know the ant as the food. So the food is not anymore in the food source. Let's try. Uh, up. Yeah, now the food is with the ant. But there is uh, an offset. But yeah, and because the f the ant has already a food, it will not uh, take a second one. So now it can do that. So what we have to do is feed the queen. But yeah, this one. So it has the. But I don't like where it is. So 
Where, where is it uh, put at that place? Ah, be no. Okay, we we'll keep. So the keep. Yeah, that's a. Uh, this would represent false. Let's try with that. Yeah, voilà. It's in zero zero. It makes more sense. And now we see that uh, it doesn't. Uh, but the weird stuff is that it's uh, very small. Ah, because I scaled maybe. Yeah. So we see that uh, we have the food. And now we need to go to the queen and put the food where it should be put. So let's put the queen. Yeah, the, the queen is big, obviously, because that's the queen. So that's the food. Uh, Yeah, so this this is yeah okay. So there, I will need to uh, yeah. How, how would I handle that? That's the question. I need a script for the queen. And the queen, it's expecting. And yeah, that's a uh, proper naming there. So I would call that uh, area. Ah, yeah, the, the head is so that would be parturition. Parturition. And that would be the area mouth. Well, that way, uh, we have nice things. And uh, yeah, that's it. And then I have to check for food. So, what I will do is I would create an empty script. Found empty script need to create a script to be able to detect uh, the kind of scene uh, it is and I could say class name food but not uh, very oops food so now we have this food and it's properly named so I can do the same as before I would say no ah yeah that the food is incorrect yeah so what I will do is um, make scene root and then this script I will need to clear but I would attach the food screen the food uh, script to the area 2D so we can drag and drop uh, that works the same and just check there yeah, it's area 2D so I need to change uh, this so now I have this and I will uh, go to the queen and the queen can do this detection uh, so area parturition no area uh, mouse uh, so area interred yes uh, an area interred yeah that's clear enough huh? so <coughs> there I need like I said to detect the food 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 the food type so I would do this uh, yeah okay I don't know what you did but I wanted that there and uh, I would say if there is food that comes here I could free the food and uh, I, I do a, ki a kid area 2d if area is food And then area dot q3. We can already try this loop because now, yeah, what is uh, this errors? Yeah, all of this. Yeah, but I think I can't. Uh, I can't do the. Because that's true, I'm saying that stuff is not working, but maybe it is. Uh, let's see. So, 
let's see if I command this would the ant still take the food yeah okay so I, I said uh, box and so I would I would clean up uh, because I do prefer to use the variable uh, for the class names it makes stuff much easier than preloading a script just I don't know just to do a test on uh, on something so okay so this if it's and okay so now we can do the loop so the ant goes from here to here then it in the, it will feed the queen then it goes here and here that looks good to me so it takes the thing then it goes to the queen then it continue so now our queen is uh, digesting and then we have the new one Okay, now what is happening is that it's like uh, too big the input because now it comes here and then yeah okay I will I would uh, make the area there like the size of the head that would make more sense I think at least it would not glitch like a file glitch okay so we go from here from here from here and we go back like this so now it's on the back yeah but I don't know why it shakes like that so now we can feed the queen and the next step is to uh, make uh, babies uh, so for that I can just spawn uh, stuff there so new ants so let's uh, let's try uh, pom pom pom. so if I got a new ant uh, oh well, you could do that uh, pom pom pom. fine no I wasn't but I'm trying to find the, the file so it's green yeah, that was uh, in fact what the and there so we have the food that enter and then we can spawn the baby on the other side like as fast as uh, she can pull it so for that I need to have ants and there I need to create the scene because you can't do and new and that I'm sure so you need to do the ant dot uh, preload and stuff uh, so far preload uh, the ant that uh, instantiate and that would be a new ant and there where it's and it would say yeah, okay I need to see the queen scene so now I would go to the area uh, parturition uh, that was on the one I had this say that was okay that's correct and there I would say new aunt uh, add child new aunt ah no 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 I would say I would say uh, like uh, like don't create the ants here please up oh. and I would say signal so that's a way to communicate to the other world uh bert 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 uh bert of a uh, bert like this and i would say that that's a position i think it's enough to convey uh, what i want to do and this would disappear and that would be bert that emit and uh, yeah I don't know why it doesn't take the at global position so 
So now I could uh, I could free the food and I say I want to burst at this location and the level can actually now it's about uh, the ant the, the queen I mean and do something uh, about it so I will drag and drop this there and uh, now I need my phone credit or yeah because I know I know that ch the, the queen is there I don't need that and I can actually go to my signals and say birth and birth birth and poop and you see on queen birth isn't that nice and now I can say uh, that I want to import that scene yeah that's the big one that I want instantiate and that would make a new ant yeah in the in the real game you you get uh, an egg that you have to put in an incubator and then that makes a, a ant after some uh, delay but yeah I'm just uh, taking shortcut so new ant uh, ant instantiate and then add child new ant uh yeah new ant and then new ant that global position equal position which is uh, this is a global position but ah that's uh, an yeah I think it's good so now it will do what it need to do let's see so uh, this one would go there and then it goes there and then it goes there and then it goes there and then that's it and then yeah ah. then that was not good uh why why uh, okay so so um, i would say that post then and i can that way i can say mm. okay crook 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 okay so now the ant will do the thing why 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 new ant global posi birth post is this because birth post is like uh, ah because i probably put uh, the bad uh, yeah yeah put the bad one what is need to do is uh, a reaperturation that global position and it it, it could be uh, I did put an array I don't know why but uh, okay uh, ah yeah because I wanted to yeah okay because if two yeah okay that was because I wanted to put X but I'm taking shortcuts okay so let's try this again so this goes there this goes there this goes there this goes there and this goes there so now we have a loop this will feed now it fi it goes in the right way so we can actually i will wait uh, i will wait we can actually do this And now it will burst new uh, new ones. Bloop. Ah, yeah. Ah, because there is a timer, so There's something I don't understand because now these one are not receiving any food. Why is that? Why are the 
Is this because I did art code something that I shouldn't have? It doesn't look like, huh? So, if not trails is empty, for once in the now, yeah, that follows the path. And then, food source. If array is ant, and there is food, then we add the food and we set to nil. Add food, self, yeah, that's Did I, uh, ah, maybe I did mess up something because that's the group. And if I enter the, ah, no, that's the group. So that's the global uh, group. So that means each time you create an ant, it's added to the group. And yeah, no, that's the case because it follows the path. So get nodes, uh, we don't care about that. So food source. Area entered, area. If it's an ant, then do the stuff. It's an, yeah, that's normal. It's as if the, there is something about, uh, so I will try, I uh, yeah, but uh, that wasn't, uh, It looks like the this is not uh, firing properly, so I will do a print and detected, and we'll see if it can detect the new ants. Okay. So there it should say. Yeah, undetected. Yeah, that's the thing. So it doesn't detect this ant, but this ant is an uh, ant. So that's what is happening. So what that means, it means that I will go back there and I will say just uh, yeah, so I would go food source and I would say ant.tscn, uh, gd, sorry. I will drop here. I will say ant s, and so if it's ant s, then undetected. Let's try that. Ah, but then, then that's not a... Uh, what is happening? And then I will see that is stupid, but uh, that's uh, how uh, development works. So this one... Ah, that's the, oh, indeed. And then I will see that uh, th it's something stupid. So what happened is that my aunt is just that uh, thing. So I would, uh, uh, the fix is, uh, let's do a stupid fix. I will take the wool. Uh, mm, yeah, maybe I could offset the wool aunt, but then the aunt would not be on the path. So I will just do that. That was the issue. Okay, let's go back. So 
I will undo my uh, attempts to find the bug. So that was uh, yep. that would be that way. Okay. And now we can go from there to there, to there, to uh, there, to there. And there, we can go there, to there, to there, to there, to there. Yeah, now, now you see that the... Yeah, this one got nothing because it was too fast. now we have like infinite feeding and that's a feedback loop uh, it, it, it will create more and more ants and then uh, at some point it will be saturated and now that we have this system we can make the ant die and the simplest way to do that is to say like at exports var ttl is like uh, 20 seconds time to leave so by default it would be zero and uh, yeah, uh, minus one i would say maybe or uh, minus uh, 10 something big enough and i would say if Uh, uh, where it is? Or I could, uh, I could be, yeah, okay, let's do simpler. At export var can die equal false. And there uh, I would say if can die, then ttl equal ttl minus delta so that will just come down if ttl is less than zero then die and that's it and i can die if no it's ttl yeah and ttl by default is zero so yeah i could even do uh, if can die uh, I could merge these two like this and that way we are sure that uh, it need to be true to be diable. So I would say true by default and 20 by default, 10 maybe. Uh, yeah, 10, 10, that's fast. And then I can die and Q3. So that means that now my initial ant in the level will, would die but we want this one to not die. Ah, no. Yeah, so I would uncheck and the new ants will uh, die. So I, I don't need to make uh, an extra class for that. So this one is for 10 seconds. Yeah, and now it's dead. Then this one we ha will have the same uh, fate. Uh, that's the thing. So now we have the system that is running with buying ant and uh, basic uh, trails. Let's fix the last bug. Found last bug. So there, when uh, I create the path, uh, there is something that is bad. That's we see the green, and that's because when I right click, I forgot to do Q draw, and so I need to uh, I need to make it uh, clear. Uh, Let's try. Now it should be a bit nicer. Mm, 
that it turned uh, white directly. That's what I what I was fixing. Yeah, so that's a bit better. But this stuttering, uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. Huh? Is this like? Uh, Ah, the, yeah, but this wasn't there. Okay, that's the uh, new stuff uh, in Godot. I doesn't like it there. Uh, it's just a stack trace, I guess. Let's see, I will clear and I will run. And I have already four uh, stack trace. Yeah, okay, that's normal. Well, not normal. That's like uh, not uh, important. Oh, let's try this one. And there I have the... I have something also. So it's uh, when the birth thing happens. I think that's what uh, this one is not. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That's weird, but okay. So let's pop uh, pop pom. How can I do that easily? Uh, should I create like a new map? Yeah, yeah. If I could do a. Uh, Yeah, so that's not beautiful, but th that's possible with Godot. So now I create an anonymous function. Uh, yeah, okay. But I want to do, uh, I can't do uh, a call deferred on this. Yeah, I can. I can. So, looks like I can. So I'm creating a function, anonymous function, and I'm calling it deferred. That means do it when you are. You have the time to do it when you are not locking your nodes and stuff. So it should work. But it's ugly. But uh, okay, let's see. I think the issue came where. Uh, and this was happening. Yeah, so now it's done in a separate uh, in time. I would not say thread, but at a time where the tree is not moved. So Godot would, would lock the tree. And then uh, you should not manipulate it uh, during that time. So that's what was fixed. Okay, and voila, that's the basic. I, I wanted to do like a simple production chain, but yeah, that would have been uh, really too long. It was already long to get there, so. Voila, that's the basic of Microtopia. Micro, micro, Microtopia. Thank you for watching, and I hope that uh, you enjoyed a bit of it and maybe learned something in the process.